this is Creative with Miss Me, and today I'm coming to you with Life Series Vitilago Symptoms. Here are some of the commonly asked questions. How is Vitilago diagnosed? Vitilago is made basically of physical examination, medical history, and laboratory tests. Basically what the doctor does is look at you and look at the spots and discolorations, uh, the white patches, and he sees if it's been exposed to sun. Um, it includes your hands, your feet, your arms, your face, your lips, even your scalp to see if vitiligo is apparent. Also too, they look at rashes, rash, see if you have any rashes or sunburns or any, you know, stress on physical illness. Uh, do you have a permanent gray streak in your hair? And it's usually before age 35 that you start seeing all these skin changes and so forth. To help confirm the diagnosis, the doctor may ask for a biopsy of an affected area or looking at you know certain skin scrapings under a microscope to see if the pigment loss is indeed vitiligo. What causes vitiligo skin disorders? Any location on the body can be affected by most people with vitiligo. It's basically white patches. Um, you lose the pigment in your skin and sometimes your skin tone, your pigment can't fight the discoloration so you end up being totally white or it spreads mainly on your face and so forth. What causes the white spots on your skin? In the case of white spots, instead of making more melanoma, Areas affected by some damage stop making the melanoma in cases. Like basically what it's saying that the spots that the sun touches, or maybe in my case, and a lot of spots that the sun doesn't touch, that those areas lose their pigment and they basically turn white. Basically, this shows you the age range of when um, the whole process starts for someone that's having vitiligo. It affects you from ages born to two up to age 60 plus. An example, my father, I was wondering who I may have gotten this from and I found out it came from my father's side of the family and that when my father moved here to Houston, where the climate is different than where we are from, the spot started showing up on him as well. So when I moved to Houston, I only had maybe four or five spots, but as I spend more time in Houston, the different climate, it started to spread more rapidly. A well-known fact is more than 200,000 cases of Vilagro are discovered in the United States per year. It can be treated with medication, um, but there is no cure. The treatments are basically like an ointment or a cream that if you have, if it itches or it dries up and becomes scaly, um, there really are rarely any lab tests, but they may do some kind of imaging to guarantee that it is Vilagro. Uh, it can last for years or it can stop on its own. Your pigment in your skin can fight it and keep you from losing any more discolorations. In my case, my pigment is trying to fight, so therefore I'm polka dot. I don't have the big white black blotches as most people you see have. So I hope this information that I share with you today is, is helpful in some ways to getting you to better understand other things about vitiligo. My next series will be coming up and it will be talking about treatments. And you guys have a very blessed day.